Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, February 24th, 2023. I am Fredicia Leibard. Colin Kang Huggins is the patron for the Department of Agriculture's Agri-Expo 2023. Huggins has been involved in both fishing and livestock farming from an early age. He describes being in the agriculture field as his livelihood. At the age of 28, he vowed to never work for anyone again and that vow to himself is what has been the foreground and rooting force of his career, coupled with some fortuitous twists of fate and hard work. Upon leaving school, he joined the police force. However, after a short stint of three years, he realized that it was not the path he wanted to take. His love for fishing ultimately won and he began his 42-year journey. Huggins' involvement in fishing began with him pulling traps for his father. His father, himself a fisherman and farmer, became ill and this led to Huggins assuming the brunt of the responsibility. Huggins continues to make significant contributions to the agriculture sector as both supplier of land and sea. Huggins credits Berkeley Door for the valuable lessons he instilled in him. These experiences serve to expand his skill set and ultimately be better for his in his commercial fishing duties on Nevis. Huggins advises young persons with interest in the fishing field that if you aren't devoted and determined to be a fisher, do not go out to sea. He also took time to highlight some challenges he faces daily, which includes the lack of attention towards the wants and needs of the fishing community, as well as scuba divers that shoot in fish breeding grounds. When asked about his fondest memory at sea, Huggins chuckled and recalled the day he caught a fish that was both unknown to himself and his counterparts. He noted, the fishing list didn't have anything on this fish. Absolutely nobody knew what type of fish it was. Maybe it was a mermaid, he said. Huggins loves his job, his family and children. He acknowledges that being in the agricultural sector has played a major role in his growth and continues to be the hallmark of his life. The Minister of Agriculture and the Ministry of Agriculture on the inaugural staging of Agri-Expo is pleased to recognize and salute Colin Kang Huggins for his stellar contribution to the island's fishing industry. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, and by extension the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, welcomes a new Commissioner of Police in the person of James Sutton. Commissioner Sutton was officially installed during a ceremony on Thursday evening, February 23rd, at the Warner Park Stadium. The occasion was witnessed by Governor General Her Excellency Dame Marcella Liburd, who inspected the Guard of Honor, Cabinet members led by Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, the top brass of the police and the St. Kitts and Nevis Defense Force, other rank and file of the police force, family members and well-wishers. Sutton replaces Hilroy Brandy, who served as Commissioner of Police from 2017. As the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board celebrates its 45th anniversary, it is engaging stakeholders and reminding them of their role in ensuring that the institution remains viable for generations to come. The 45th anniversary of the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board is being celebrated under the theme, Transform, Reform, Thrive, Social Security 45. As the scheme matures, we recognize that uh, if we are to remain viable and to continue to provide adequate benefits to our citizens, that we ought to look, take a look at the system. And so we have our actuary who is here with us for the week, and he has been engaging a number of groups uh, 
and providing our stakeholders with information on social security, the financial and the future state of social security. Acting Director of the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board, Marilyn Johnson, attending the Thursday, February 23rd breakfast meeting, facilitated by actuary Derek Osborne, were representatives of the Nevis Island Administration's various ministries and departments, government agencies, statutory corporations as well as members of the private sector we thank you all for contributing to security and to and for committing to the obligate to your obligation to pay your social security contributions so that your workers and our self-employed persons can benefit when they need it most since February 1st, 1978, the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board has positioned itself as the premier pillar of the society, providing payments to the insured in situations such as sickness, maternity, employment injury, disability, and old age, among others. Still to come. And so we'll have the pre-show from 6 to 7. And then from 7 o'clock, we all move into the auditorium there at NEPAC. The details right after this break. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, will host his next monthly press conference on Tuesday, February 28th. The press conference will be held at the Cabinet Room on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate. Premier Brantley will provide an update on matters pertaining to Nevis, and members of the press will have the opportunity to ask questions. The press conference will be broadcast live from 10 a.m. on Nevis Television NTV 8 Channel 99, Nevis TV Online.com, NTV Go Up, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. The Department of Education is inviting the general public to attend its school's Black History Elocution Contest scheduled for Saturday, February 25th at the Nevis Performing Arts Center. The theme for the event is Calypso Culture and will feature students from the 10 primary and 3 secondary schools on the island who will display their prowess in the art of expressive speech. Education Officer Shinella Joseph provided further details. Elocution is an art form that we have missed in Nevis for quite some time and the Ministry and Department of Education thought it fit to reintroduce this dying art form to our schools here in Nevis. Now, the slant we wish to take for this contest is to pay homage to our local Calypsonians. You know, people like Bingy, Ginger, Astro, and Flamingo. Now, this contest, we're going to issue pieces from these local Calypsos to the students at the various schools, and they are going to not sing, but they are going to recite the lyrics of these pieces. Joseph urged the general public to come out in their numbers as the event is expected to be a great one. Now, we trust that the competition will be par excellent, and so we can't wait to have you all come out and witness greatness from our students. The contest, again, it comes off this Saturday evening on the 25th of February at 6.15 p.m. And we look forward to seeing you all there. The event is expected to begin at 6.15 p.m. in the Michael Herald Sutton Auditorium at the Nevis Performing Arts Center on Saturday, February 25th, 2023. Entry is free of charge and refreshments will be on sale. Black Arts Freedom Edition is an initiative that the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation has created. This program is scheduled around Black History Month celebration. It is geared towards highlighting the struggles, trials, and triumph of our ancestors showcasing the past, present, and future of our African history through dancing, singing, 
Poetry and Theater. This event takes place on February 26th, that's Sunday, February 26th. Showtime is 7 p.m. The Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, NCDF, is hosting a Black History concert coined Black Hearts Freedom Concert. Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, NCDF, Jerome Rollins, spoke on the event during a recent interview at the Department of Information on Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Rollins noted that there will be a pre-show lineup of the entertainment on Sunday. The pre-show itself entails steel pan, string band, performances by Delhi, Tebulus, and other forms of entertainment. And so we'll have the pre-show from 6 to 7, and then from 7 o'clock we all move into the auditorium there at NEPAC and have a night of celebration. The CEO listed a few of the acts persons can look forward to seeing at the event. The show entails singing, dancing, drama, poetry, and spoken word. We have renowned performers such as Vinnell Powell, Clayton Huggins, Chantel Miller, Ernesta Monroe, Tanisha Brown, Naela Daniel, Dwayne Hendrickson. We also have the Shekinah Dance Theatre. We have the Rhythm Dance Theatre, just to name a few. We're asking persons to come on out and celebrate with us Black History Month and to wear, if possible, an African print attire. Now, if you don't have any African print attire, we're still expecting to see you there at NEPAC to celebrate Black History Month with us. So come on out on Sunday, February 26, 6 p.m., and enjoy a lovely evening. Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, Jerome Rollins. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.